Hey, what up, gamers? Hey, I'm gonna show y'all um, this last part of my um, uh, uh, Pandora's box arcade stick. Um, I actually went ahead and uh, modded it out, so I put a Raspberry Pi in it. So let me show you what I did to the back. We're gonna come around here, uh, and I'm gonna show you down here. You see it got an HDMI out, um, and also a USB, and that USB is running for the power, which is uh, right down there. The HDMI is, of course, going to the TV. Now, all of these, uh, the power and all of these other um, uh, things here are uh, for the um, Pandora's box itself. So I'm not really um, using any of that. So that's separate from the Raspberry Pi. All I'm using is the controller connection. So you see that USB, that USB is running to the um, system here on the inside. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but let's swing this back around here. Uh, so this is um, basically the USB is going from the controller uh, that's operating the controller and it's connected to the Raspberry Pi here with this uh, auxiliary jack. So it's an auxiliary jack there. So that's for the uh, headphones there or speakers. Uh, and then it's connected to the inside. So here, let's uh, let's take a look at the inside. Let me show you the inside right there. So that's the connection uh, that's running the um, headphone jack that's connecting to the Raspberry Pi that you can see right there. And it's also uh, connecting to the controller port. So I can really, and that's the Raspberry Pi sitting next to the um, Pandora box arcade stick. Now the um, uh, controller, you actually you can see, I can cook up four controllers as I like, if I like. But this has, it's connected to both of these controllers in here, uh, which I actually have, uh, I bought some Sandwa sticks, fighting sticks, and some Sandwa buttons. So I think I'm gonna trade these out. I just like the, the Sandwa feel. It's a more professional feel. And since this thing has really been upgraded pretty nicely, I like how it works. I wanted to make sure it had all the quality buttons in it. So I'm gonna probably swap those out today, but I just wanted to just show you what it looks like. Now this is the um, HDMI right there. So that's the HDMI. Uh, with the um, USB for the power running to this. Uh, and now I had to convert that uh, USB down so it'll fit the mini USB, as you can see on the far uh, upper end there. So it's a converted right there. And then, of course, the HDMI is running to the Raspberry Pi. So now let's take a look at the uh, setup itself. So here is the... Um, Raspberry Pi already set up. And as you can see, uh, it got a lot of Super Nintendo games. I guess if we don't, well, we'll just flick it around. So there's our Nintendo. Uh, and I'm not finished loading games up, but I just want y'all to see what it looks like. Got plenty of uh, uh, Mega Drive games in there, uh, Master System, uh, PC Engine. Uh, that, that was... Um, FB Alpha, I got my FB Alpha. Actually, FB Alpha is running uh, my uh, uh, Neo game. So, you know, it seems to work best on this FB Alpha. So I figured out why not. And then it got Main here. Um, and then Neo, like I said, is running on FB Alpha. And then back to the um, Nintendo again. So since we stopped at Nintendo, let's take a look at this one right fast. So pretty much, you can scroll through all of the games. You know, of course, you know, I got a lot of games here. I usually like to use uh, Street Fighter as a good reference because that's the one they use all of the um, button configurations, right? So let's get Street Fighter loaded up here if I could find it. I'll probably do the Alpha since I like the Alpha series. Uh, let's see here. Why wow, Street Fighter? Popping up here in a second. Okay, there we go. Street Fighter. Let's do Street Fighter Alpha 2. Now, remember, this is for the um, 
Super Nintendo. So, so what I'm gonna do here, I'll just press uh, start. I, a, A is the start. Wait, I forgot. I, okay, I guess that put a star next to it. If I take the A out, it takes it out. So that makes it one of my favorites. So I reconfigured all of these buttons and I'm not sure how it's set up. I know I got it set up for Street Fighter. So let's see. So I think it's, okay, there we go. It's the A button there. And you will see um, Street Fighter shit load up here in a second. There we go. Licensed by Nintendo. Street Fighter Alpha 2. So, and uh, forgive that light glare on the TV there. I'm trying to avoid that. But anyway, so you press start. Press start. And it loads up. So there it is. Now, if I want to do, it'll do the arcade mode. I'll do the versus mode to show you that uh, it does two players. So, you got, there's both players, and that's me on player one, moving, you know, moving around player one. And then player two, see, that's me moving around player two. So, we'll do, like I so said, I'm not going to play it, I'm just kind of showing you, you know, how it works here. So, I pick, uh, say, God, and then, of course, I do. Akuma. All right, so they're both of the characters. We do a turbo, doing turbo, you know, and then we just pick the level there. So as you can see, you know, it loads up just fine. It plays just fine. I'm gonna show you just fast. Like I said, I can't play it with one hand, but like I said, I'm just showing you the setup here. Uh, so like I said, it, pl it plays well. It plays nice and smooth. I'm gonna show you, see there's all the Okay, it froze a little bit, but there we go. Okay, so there's the um, light, medium, hard, light, medium, hard, and four, say God, light, medium, hard. You know, up, jump, back, down, back, forward back, forward, up, and down. Like I said, I'm, uh, I'm, um, gonna, um, uh, change these buttons out anyway. So, like I said, I'm going with the sound wow buttons. I already got those. Um, but then just to come out of this, you press the start and the, um, coin button and it takes you out. So anybody that's familiar with the Raspberry Pi and it goes right back. So as you can see, that works just fine. Uh, let's see if we can get to another one right fast here. But uh, this is a pretty nice setup. I'm really enjoying it, I gotta tell you. I mean, it really does a lot. Here, I'll do some Neo stuff. How about if we do a, let's do Garo. Let's do Garo. Let's find Garo. So here's Garo. Um, then again, press the, uh, the A button. So I think, it, it, you know, it, it might take a little bit to load up, but there it is. It's um, going to take a second or two to load up, but. And there it is. There it is. So there's Garo. So, like I said, man, this thing is uh, pretty sweet, you know. And again, it's my um, Pandora's box uh, with um, the um, extra games on it, you know. So, with the Raspberry Pi. So, and the Retro Pi is running the games. So again, like I said, I'm uh, really happy with it. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, with it all set up and running, uh, that, you know, I like the um, this uh, Pandora's box and this whole system so much, I went right ahead and just added the Raspberry Pi to it because it's so nice. And once I get these professional arcade buttons in it, 
uh, it's going to be just like playing an arcade, and I can take it with me. And I got right currently is over seven thousand games in it, so I mean it is uh, pretty nice. So that's it, y'all. And again, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, to the next time, peace.